Hi everyone, this is Chris Brazel. Welcome to my world and my mind maps. Your mind actually walks before you. You have a destiny that's already been mapped out. We worry so much about mental illness or the mind or what's going on in our life and what our fear. When you know your mind map and you know how your mind codes work and how to be in energy alignment, you just got to kind of go with the flow and do what you subconsciously feel or go with that gut feeling. Now, Gladys is our topic subject today, the New South Wales Premier, who resigned on the 1st of the 10th, 2021. She was in such perfect alignment, even through she would have made the decision in um, September, which is the month that she was actually born. She turned 51, which is a six energy, is whether you want to be the warrior or the victim. And her name actually is the sixth energy, which is where she came into that. Now, let's get down to some nitty gritty. Let's first talk about Gladys herself. She was born on the 22nd. That means she's a big picture builder. But the biggest thing she needs is stability. She needs to have a plan. She needs to have a process. And she needs to be able to go from one thing to another. So 2021 or the last 2020 last year, which was a, started in a four energy, she no longer has that stability. So when she doesn't have stability, that's when things can go all over the place. She can doubt herself, she's uncertain, she can be swayed in all sorts of directions because of this handing over the control to other people and her not actually driving the car. So we know she's a four pattern person. So even through to when she was made premier on the 2017, to when she resigned, it was a four year. So she was in alignment that she was in that four energy. So when we start to look at the virus, it came in 2020. So again, in that four energy. So if we go back to her path number, it's the people she meets, the education have. When she's an achiever and she's driving the car, everything is absolutely fabulous. But when she allows the car to be driven by someone else or is influenced too much by someone else, that's when she can actually suffer and she becomes the martyr trying to be a helpful person and she can actually lose out. And it's important as a premier because she came in on the 23rd, which is the five energy, which she can try to be helpful to other people, but suffer because some form of stupidity involved in the investments, which is what's actually come about with the ICAC investigation. So this year for her, she is in a nine energy. So it's closing doors, tidying up loose ends. In September, when she would have made up her mind, she was actually in an 18 energy, which was closing doors, divorcing what no longer serves you and making new choices. She actually gave her resignation in on the 1st of October, which is about a whole new beginning, a whole new identity. So if we look at even the day she did hand it in, then it was a 1-10-2021. So this is the change needed to take place before the tower would fall. And the tower will fall in November this year. So she's virtually seen the writing on the wall or the possibility of what the writing would be on the wall in November when the tower energy meets. And, and, it, and it literally is going to fall in November. So lots of things are going to totally change. So she resigned on the 1st of the 10th, which was... Day, day one, new identity. The force was 16, which is the tower energy. And her unblocking code is the seven, which is the seven energy. So she literally unblocked herself. So her unblocking code being the seven, then the force code of the 1st of the 10th, 2021 is a seven. So she that was the day that she unblocked. The most interesting thing, she didn't do it at nine o'clock. She didn't do it at 10 o'clock. She didn't do it at 1.30. She did it at 1.20. 1.20 is a 12, which is her lucky code. So she used the day which was unblocking her to create a new flow of luck. Stop being the martyr. Stop, start stepping into the emperor's shoes. Stop doubting yourself about where you're going and what you do. Do what you know you need to do. The other interesting thing, she came in as the premier in 23rd of the 1st, 2017. So she was actually the 45th premier. Now that's a nine energy, which meant she was only supposed to be premier for three years. Um, so normally if you go over three years and something pushes you out. So she's been pushed out because of the IPAC investigations 
and the fact of the roller coaster we're in and she's actually in a four year so if she'd left last year everything might have been different but she's been she's leaving in a fourth year so she's staying in a pattern that keeps occurring now the other thing is that her name comes to a 42 six the major energy of this month is the wheel of fortune new identity but the force code what forces you through the door is a six so virtually she, again she's in perfect alignment to a new identity to who she is no longer the new south wales premier which is the force energy of this month which is the six and that comes back to her identity code your identity mind code needs to be perfect it needs to be right so what she did on the 1st of October 2021 she stepped into where her identity mind code is and where she needs to be going for the future next year she'll be in a one year and next year the unblocking code for next year is 22 which will bring out a new Gladys in some way or some form she's a brilliant example of someone who is so in tune with her mind map but that's because when she does what's best for her, she's safe and she'll be protected, which is the 1917. So if she hadn't have stepped down when she did, then it would be very interesting to see what came out of it, simply because on the 23rd when she went in, is a number that you can suffer because of the stupidity of someone else, or you can try and help thinking you're doing the right thing, but then you can get caught out in it, which is what's happened. In November, she would have been or would have been in a um, eleven energy, which is greatness or destruction, and it will just hit you from nowhere. And that's where she would have been in November, which is uh, a tower energy falling. So if she hadn't have resigned now, every chance would have been that something would have happened out of the blue, come from left left out of um, out of eye center and would have been pushing her over anyway because she should have only been here for three years. She's overstayed, she's out of her natural coding, she's 51, stop being the victim and start rebuilding your life all over again. And October is about rebuilding your identity, rebuilding your life. So, hope you enjoyed it. Everyone has a mind map. Everyone has mind codes, brain codes. When you actually know your numbers, and that's one of my new books coming out, or join one of my courses, or simply ring and let me work out your numbers, everything is in alignment. And if you look at some of my other videos, you'll see, even if you look at um, Henry Ford when he released the car, even the day he released the car, the name of the card was in perfect energy mind mapping mind code to his numbers. If you look at even Tiger Woods when he had the accident, um, which was really serious, even the where the um, accident occurred to the type of injury he had were totally in direction to his mind codes. So this is me out. It's fascinating. Read one of my blogs. It's there a little bit simpler or watch the video again. Cheers for now.